Hello students, in this video we'll discuss the second fernet serre equation. Let's recall what the first two fernet serre equations are. Let's recall that fernet serre number one asserts that the derivative of the unit tangent vector with respect to the arc length parameter is the curvature in the direction of the principal normal vector. For Nasser rate number three, in some sense, for Nasser rate number one defines what the curvature is. For Nasser rate number three tells us that the derivative of the binormal vector with respect to s is negative torsion of s p hat of s. So note that both dt ds and db ds lie in the same plane. They lie in the plane that is nest they lie along that vector direction. Okay. So now. Let's recall that we have the same rules for crossing T, P, and B that we do for I, J, and K. So we have T hat, P hat, and B hat. And when you cross them, they go along the trajectory like this. And so now we recall that B hat is really what? Is really T hat cross P hat. And so what we can do now is we can use this relationship. That's one relationship we get. We also get that what? That P hat is b hat cross t hat. And we get that t hat is equal to what? That t hat is equal to um, p cross b. Now what I'll do is I'll take this second equation over here, and I'll take the derivative of the second equation with respect to s. So that will give me on the left-hand side d p hat ds is equal to d by ds of this cross product of b cross t. Now we also have a product rule for the cross product. The product rule for the cross product says that if I do the derivative with respect to anything t, it doesn't have to be that, of v of t cross w of t for vectors, for curves, this will be what? This will be v prime of t cross w of t plus v of t, the order matters here now, cross w prime of t. That's the product rule for the cross product. So let's apply it in our situation. So we'll have db ds cross t plus b cross dt ds. Now we can use Fernet's array 3 on the first term and Fernet's array 1 on this term over here. So by Fernet's array th number 3, Fernet's array number 3, and Fernet's array number 1, we see that this is equal to, this is equal to, equal to what? Well, dBDS is negative torsion, negative torsion of s, p hat of s, cross t hat of s. And these are all functions of the arc parameter. Then plus b hat, and that's of course of s, cross what? dt ds is curvature p hat. Curvature of s, p hat of s. Now, let's do this carefully. So what's p cross t? So p cross t is negative b. So this is going to be positive torsion of s in the direction t cross p. B cross, so we go along the triangle, p cross t is going to be negative b. So that's going to turn to a positive, And then we have a b head of s. And now uh, we have b cross p. b cross p, it goes this way, so that's negative t. So then we have negative curvature of s times t head of s. And that gives us our second Fernet's ray equation. So Fernet's ray number two, tells us that dp ds is negative curvature of s t hat of s plus torsion of s b hat of s. So the, the derivative of the principal normal vector with respect to arc length parameter is a combination of the unit tangent vector and the unit binormal vector. And the coefficients are the negative curvature and the torsion, respectively. Thank you very much.